There are a few things that define Randy and Michelle Tennis as a couple. Well, they love the Lord, they love each other, and I think they live for the water. That's why when Pastor John Taplin heard about their wedding on Lake Darling, he was definitely well, welcome, welcome. on board. I've probably done 500 or 1,000 weddings, and this is the first one. <laughs> I've ever done on a pontoon boat. For the bride and groom, this was the first venue that came to mind. Yep, exactly. this is where everybody comes on vacation, so why leave this place? Randy and Michelle met in high school, but their love began to grow three years ago thanks to plenty of water, which is what made Randy's proposal pretty fitting. Yes, it was actually on the coast of Maine. We were out on a sailboat and I proposed to her then. But planning an ocean proposal is nothing compared to pulling off a water wedding. That was kind of a teamwork effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Turned out great. Neither Mike Diebold nor Bob Barker were best man, but both were critical to keeping the wedding party together. So we got set up here about 45 minutes before the wedding and anchored our boats to then create the anchor for all the other boats that came alongside and, and tied up with us. We didn't have an aisle to walk down, so we thought if we can get them both lined up in a sort of an aisle. It just was like she was walking down the aisle. Lord, we, we come to you. And after exchanging vows, the wedding aisle became Celebration Island. Yeah, some were there in swimsuits, some went for a swim, some accidentally fell in. Yep. <laughs> he knew that there better be boating or water or something involved because otherwise a lot of us wouldn't go because <laughs> we'd have to leave the lake. It's also why you can probably guess the destination of their honeymoon. We don't want to leave Minnesota in the summertime because this is what we live for. This is our honeymoon right here. On Lake Darling, Kent Erdahl. Minnesota Life. Care 11 News. Yes, you cannot get Minnesotans to leave the lake in July. Randy and Michelle say they might end up taking a trip to celebrate after the lake freezes over for the winter, of course. They have yet to decide where, but you can bet it will be somewhere near water.